It's time for a challenge of some description. We're going into single player. We're going to make a new world on survival. On, default, off, off. This one will be called UHC Attempt 1. <laughs> It might get to the stage where at some point on the Netrock server we look into having a UHC match ourselves. For those who don't know, UHC stands for Ultra Hardcore and it's a game mode that was invented by the people of the Mindcrack server. Basically what happens is your health does not regenerate naturally. Whereas it would normally regenerate if you had a full hunger bar in UHC, it does not. The only way you are able to regenerate your health is by eating a golden apple or using a healing potion, I believe. Now, normally it is played as a PvP game with loads of other people and the object is to be the last person standing. In this instance, it's just me on my own and I want to get some practice in just in case we have a go at it on Netrock. So, that is what we are going to do here. Um, although, no, I don't think we are, because if I do the command, which is game rule natural regeneration false, that will say no, because I didn't put cheats on. Okay, let's start a new world and have another go. Okay, here we go again. Whilst we wait for the world to regen, I will type the command in. If I remember it, game will natural regeneration false. Now, oh, well, what is the game rule then? Jesus Christ, tell me. No, apparently that is the case, unless it's case sensitive, in which case my apologies. Oh, there we go. Right, now we are in UHC mode. Um, I'm not quite sure what the episode format is going to be for this, whether it's just going to be a long series or whether it's going to be a long video or whatever. I haven't thought about yet that excuse me yet all I'm gonna do is just play and test out some tactics and stuff and see how good we are so the first thing I'm going to do here is get the basics going now obviously this isn't as stressful as uh, other UHC as an actual UHC tournament I should say because Obviously, it's just us playing. Whereas in a proper game of Ultra Hardcore, you have other players that you are playing against. And obviously, you don't want to go rushing in straight at the start because you are woefully under equipped. However, you don't want to leave it too long. Otherwise, your opponents will be better armed. So it's a, it's a game of tactics, um, even though this is less stressful. It's, um, <laughs> well, still probably going to be a bit stressful. Um, should just point out, this is not a replacement or any of that sort of thing for the hardcore series that I have done in the past where I have set the game mode to hardcore and tried to see how long I can survive whilst trying to kill the dragon. This is something different. Whilst the objective is probably still to complete the game, i.e. kill the dragon in this instance, um, if I die, then it's not the end of the world like it is in Hardcore. It is just the end of my life, like if you had died normally in Minecraft. However, when I do die, I am going to end the series just because, you know, it's easier that way. And because in Ultra Hardcore, if it's the PvP game, you do only get one shot. Uh, if you die, then that's it. So we're going we're gonna to try hard to 
live, but that might not always be the case. Now, there is this desert here. Were I playing with other people, I probably would have made a beeline for that straight away. However, because we can be a bit more relaxed, I am not entirely concerned right now. I'm going to kill these chickens for food. Hopefully we can get eggs or something to start up a chicken farm. That would be useful. Wonderful. Now there are also all sorts of other things as well that you're probably going to look to do if you're doing UHC with other people. For example, the feathers that the chickens give are very useful for making arrows. Normally I don't go around making arrows. I just collect them from skeletons and stuff. However, in UHC obviously your health doesn't regenerate so it's probably a good idea to try and avoid tackling skeletons. So if you can make your arrows in another way, i.e. with the feathers, then that is the way to do it. Now the reason why I would have made a beeline for this desert here is for the simple reason that we have the potential for three different kinds of structures appearing in here which can give us a great benefit. Those are the pyramids, the uh, surface dungeons are quite common in desert biomes and also the possibility of a desert village which would also be very nice. Oh some cows over there. Let's grab some some cows. Oh toolkit look at that there we go desert village. Boof. That's of course very good news indeed especially if you happen to be playing UHC in PvP mode then having a village can be of a huge benefit. Obviously you probably won't stay around too long because I'm not sure how advisable it is to spend all of your time in one place in UHC. However, it gives you a huge boost to your starting food supply. What with all of the all of the wheat, carrots and potatoes now that are everywhere. And as well also there's the possibility of a blacksmith which can have some very useful items in there and hopefully this one will. Let's go and have a little nosy around here and then we might begin a little base of operations from here. Obviously like I keep saying this is ah oh, they're honking. This is this is a pathetic excuse of a village. What is this like three buildings? Ha ha ha. Oh you got an emerald for four bread. There's not even any food here. This is the worst village in the world. This isn't even a village, is it? It's like a little outpost. Oh, foolish me, I'm an idiot. Oh, fall damage. Fall damage is a killer. <laughs> because like, I for one am used to playing the uh, Minecraft quite callously. I'll jump off of things. Oh, that cow died on a cactus. <laughs> I will just jump off of things and not be bothered particularly by fall damage. That's a kicker in this game. Look, half a heart there. Haven't we gened because that's not, the game rule's been turned off. But look at this, what I spy. Of course, a pyramid. Now, this might be interesting. We might be able to get some useful stuff out of this. Hopefully, we will we'll need to have a look and obviously be careful we don't want to take any damage any damage we do take will count against us and it's already quite frustrating that we have taken a little bit already let's put some tools together I'm gonna to cook up some food which I probably should have done by now anyway and make some more sticks for a pick and the rest of those can go on torches just like that marvelous so let's have a nosy in here hopefully there's no badness I can't hear anything I think we're okay so let's tunnel downwards and see what treasures the pyramid has for us. All the time being wary of that stone pressure plate at the bottom. 
that is not a way that we want to go out here in UHC succumbing to the booby trap in a desert temple is very embarrassing I think <laughs> so that is something we must avoid now let's get a bit of light down here get rid of that pressure plate straight off and have a look what have we got three diamonds three gold and two saddles oh I mean probably gonna end up taking everything out of here because it will probably come in useful in here oh yes look at that we could probably do some buying and selling with the villagers if that's what we wanted to do which I don't know if it's worth doing oh look at that iron horse armor why am I taking the rotten meat that is something that I do not need <laughs> this is very cool what's in here three gold oh look at all these saddles we should go out and find horses <laughs> just because oh right let's get out of here get back to our food um, oh uh, just just for I guess completionist sake I'll take the TNT <laughs> doesn't really have much of a need for it but it is TNT and we never know when that might come in handy probably won't but better to be safe than sorry better to have it and not need it than need it and not have it that's what I always say okay that's that done we got some food now as well banging take that up get rid of this we're gonna eat some chicken and carry on see what else we can find here in the world if anything because we'll probably need to um, get into a cave or something soon and start gathering resources because at the moment I'm not doing very well on them also some food would be nice that if that village had been better generated that would have been wonderful but unfortunately that was not the case um, I'm not gonna bother with making a bed because ordinarily in UHC uh, that isn't well it is an option that is available to you but obviously if you die that's the end and also because everyone is like if it's a PvP thing everyone's playing and you can't all sleep so we won't we won't bother with a bed but that does mean that I do need to find a cave like now <laughs> somewhere to live for the night and explore because I do not want to be on the surface when all the nasties come out because that is a really dangerous point in time to be on the surface we're gonna get the reeds here as well for a future enchanting table which is the other reason why we killed some cows for leather and stuff oh is this some oh this looks like somewhere I could hide for the night okay I think this is gonna have to do I don't know if we're gonna find anywhere better so let's just get down there oh there's some iron in the wall if nothing else then we can get some iron but I think this is gonna be our, oh excuse me this is gonna be our home this is gonna be where we're gonna end up living oh falling gravel as well gravity blocks falling on you is another thing to be very wary of as it can happen all too easily and of course in the normal game it's something that you just kind of shrug off because you know it's it's not that big of a deal but in this every bit of damage counts and to take damage in a way such as having a block fall on your head or taking half a heart of fall damage is really not good at all you need to avoid doing that at all costs of course I'm not professing to be I, I say of course a lot I've said of course a lot in this uh, series so far um, I am not a UHC expert <laughs> I would not profess to be one and I do not want to be viewed as one uh, yet <laughs> because oh, this was a letdown um, where are we at uh, let's just dig down I guess um, but yeah I have never played UHC in my life 
so I, I do not know all the tricks of the trade and stuff like that so to view me as a kind of UHC expert would actually be very fruitless and not very clever at all uh, I am just literally going by what I have managed to um, understand by watching various seasons of Mindcrack's UHC so this is all this is all basically their teachings it's a slime somewhere I can hear him sloshing about let's put stuff away we don't need all this gravel can go in there so can the pressure plate dirt there rotten meat there 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 we go wonderful all these saddles four saddles it's quite a lot isn't it I, I need some wood as well. I need to get wood. Um, grow up, please. <laughs> We're going to make some more tools here so that we can go deeper in and do some investigatory work for a cave. Now, in UHC, strip mining is banned. And the rules as to what constitutes a strip mining can be quite blurry. Um, but what I understand of it is basically what I'm doing here is allowed where, you, where you're digging down searching for a cave to investigate that's allowed, that's acceptable what isn't acceptable would be if I get to for example uh, this point in time right here and I decide I want to go tunnelling off in this direction looking for resources like that iron there I would not get because I have technically sort of strip mined for it which is against the rules so I am going to leave that there however if something like this happens where I find coal digging down looking for the cave this is acceptable this is alright to take and these are the rules that I'm gonna try and adhere to whilst playing but obviously, like I say, I'm going to leave that iron there because that is uh, that was cheaty iron. That was iron that I found by strip mining, which is not allowed, which is what I have already said. Whew. Settling in. That iron, that iron is acceptable because it's on the way down. This is what I understand of it anyway. This is what I believe it the rule no strip mining means because that uh, this iron was exposed whilst I was digging the coal which was exposed while I was digging down so by extension the iron is acceptable but the iron in the corridor is not hoping it's all coming across clear and stuff I'm also trying to use this uh, this playthrough quickly to try and break some old habits that I have for example using up the wooden pick is something that I have done here but it's something that I'm very guilty of in every playthrough of Minecraft I do because I hate wastage so I use my first wooden pick whereas most just chuck it down somewhere I don't want to do that um, I, I like making sure that everything is used which is why I always try and make sure that I cook things in batches of eight rather than wasting anything but in UHC especially if we get around to playing it as a server sometimes you're going to end up wasting things and you can't always be as efficient as you would like to be so it's quite possible that I'm gonna have to you know not smelt stuff down in stacks of eight to, to make sure that coal is used efficiently efficiently sorry and it's quite possible that I will have to chuck away my wooden pick and upgrade to stone as soon as possible and those are some habits that I'm trying to instill in myself now whilst practicing where it's not in, it's not necessarily as big of a deal if I die um, and also like I've I think I mentioned at the start it's about trying to develop my own sort of tactics for playing. Oh look here we are, we have a cave. Or at least a, a break. It's about trying to develop my own tactics for playing as well. So 
we need to be we need to think about this. If we sissy bar across here. Now we need to be careful what with the recent AI changes and stuff. This looks dangerous. But the Enderman is right there. <laughs> 